Hello guys, this is Ali, the founder of Envo Drive Systems. Today I'm going to uh, share uh, a project that we have been involved uh, in developing in our R&D uh, section. It's been about a year and a half that we're working on this concept. And nothing is yet, yet publicly shared and uh, nothing is concluded yet. But I thought it's a good opportunity for me to share this with you uh, maybe you can uh, join us in this in this thinking process and bring your uh, values to this project. Uh, there is a very uh, there is a high demand on a product that is considered a street legal bicycle or tricycle, and is weather protected. Why weather protected? Because we live in Canada, we are facing uh, freezing temperatures, or raining through uh, half of the uh, year. We all love bicycles, we all like riding, we all love being green, but the challenge is we can do it half of the year and the second half of the year we always have challenges uh, using our bicycles or e-bikes or e-trikes. How can we have a weather protected tricycle which is, a street, which is still considered street legal we can use it without a driver's license or insurance and we can use we can be green we can use our human power uh, like human energy combined with clean ener electric energy to give it a boost for longer range and better performance well uh, there have been uh, some few options in the history of uh, electric tricycles or bicycles uh, such a vehicle being available to public publicly to the market the most successful one was um, I would I would consider it uh, the product named elf ELF by organic transit the company in the USA which they offer the three wheel vehicle electric 500 watt maximum power which was considered uh, street legal with a uh, plastic protection uh, cover uh, this company unfortunately stopped this production line as a matter of a bankruptcy I guess a couple years ago so that product doesn't have, is not available to the market uh, the, the, the manufacturer's retail price for that uh, suggested retail price for that product was 9500 US dollar so this would be considered a high price for a similar product but still there were uh, there were people who were interested in buying this but that product is not even available at that price why no more of such product is available in the market? That was something that we investigated a lot in past three, two, two to three years. Why no other company is doing this? Why this company bankrupted? There, there might be a few reasons as far as we have concluded so far. One being that you may not be able to find a lot of customers or market for such a niche product in the early stages of uh, being offered in the to the market. Well, in order to be able to sell something in a wider national like geographical distribution, that product needs to be transportable. Where organic transit product what what was not transportable. It was a big bulky product, half of the size of a car. So you can imagine that uh, the shipping cost of this uh, from city to city would be about the half of the cost of the shipping of a vehicle, which is considered to be high. And uh, on the other side, when you don't have a transportable product, you will have issues of providing services or returns or exchanges or repairs. So someone buying the product remotely in a rural area and they want to fix, they want to find a fix, no one is doing this locally, they need to bring it back to you and if you are far, there, there will be a big challenge if the product is not transportable. Uh, having said that, if we want to take a new product that is not involved with this type of challenge so that we can sell globally, we need a product which is transportable, which is compact and transportable. We'll get, we'll talk about that more in future. Other than being transportable, this vehicle truly needs to be lightweight. Because if you want to consider it as a human-powered vehicle, uh, our human power 
power, which is around 100 to 200 watts and an aerobic mode, should be capable of uh, getting this vehicle running at a speed of let's say 20, 25 kilometer per hour. I don't believe 80 kilogram is a good, good weight, is a reasonable weight for this product as we had this on Elf or I think uh, Vimo by uh, Velo Metro, which is a Vancouver based company developing the same com content is also following that route. Like it's a heavy uh, vehicle and bulky. Bulky means you cannot transport it. Heavy means you cannot ride it on human power. So these are the two key factors that we need to take into consideration when developing this content, this concept. The other concepts, uh, the other key factors of designing or uh, of this vehicle, I'm just showing this vehicle, but that's not the vehicle, just this conceptual vehicle is that this vehicle, sh this frame or body should not rattle, should not make noise. That is reducing the desirability of the product. The way I tried uh, either of the two products that I mentioned before, they're rattly, they're noisy, and you don't like it, you don't enjoy riding it. You, when you ride a bicycle, you don't have anything around sur uh, surrounding you, there's no noise coming from them. But when you do one of those, like, let's say, plastic or fiberglass or uh, like comp composite uh, uh, protections, you shouldn't really uh, feel that this is a rattly product and, it's, it's, and, it create, and it generates a lot of noise. So this needs to be compact, transportable, lightweight, less noisy or rattly. And uh, the other key feature would be this should provide a good weather protection. Like we need to be protected by like uh, against freezing temperature or rain or snow. So we need a good level of protection. It just can't be a uh, like roof uh, uh, on top of us or just a windshield. It should be a almost full protection. The other key factor of designing this vehicle is the configuration. Uh, so far, we have considered this type of recumbent trike, the best configuration for a vehicle like this. Any two-wheeled vehicle would have uh, problems with balance. So if you have, if you're containing it in an enclosure and you want to maintain balance, there are two options. You need to step down to keep it balanced when you're stopped, or you need to employ a mechanism that uh, bring you more assisted wheels to keep you balanced when it's when the speed is low or you're stopped. Uh, as a part of my uh, like uh, university student uh, projects, I did this second option, like a, pro a product which two with two wheels, which had uh, two assisted wheel. So basically, that's a workable idea, but it's not the uh, um, the best practice when it comes to a commercial product. Like we need to have this. We need to employ less moving parts or less complex um, mechanisms to make this a reliable product. So uh, having said that, uh, we will be more stable and confident of this stability if you are riding this on a three or four wheels. Four wheels is not considered street legal in many areas in North America. So if you want to have a vehicle, a human powered vehicle as a street legal without the requirement, without the need of driver's license or insurance, the vehicle should have three wheels attached to the ground at, the, uh, at all times. Meaning that four, the fourth wheel will make our vehicle non-street legal. So the only available option for us is the vehicle that has a three wheel, which we call a tricycle or trike. Now we have two configurations for trikes. The conventional configuration is the one that we have one wheel on the front and two at the back. That's um, absolutely a, work, a doable, uh, a workable idea. But something that I like more and this type of configuration, which are mostly seen in recumbent tricycles, is that they have two wheels on the front and one in the back. And for several reasons, this is bringing us more stability than the first generation, especially especially when it comes to the steering on high speed, 
strategical vehicles in, in North America are, uh, are allowed to ride up to 32 km per hour, which is, a, which is considered a good speed, a fun speed, and an exciting speed for a vehicle like a bicycle or a tricycle. And I can guarantee that you cannot hit balance by a regular, like one real front, let's say delta shape tricycle if it comes to steering at a speed of above, any speed above 20 km per hour. But this type of configuration is quite stable and it depends on the uh, geometry of the frame and the wheel and the camber angles and like there are a lot of engineering in developing this uh, to become a uh, stable, high performance and efficient tricycle. So this is the configuration, the, the frame configuration that we pick. Um, this particular one is a famous uh, tricycle offered by a company named Sun Secure. It's a US brand. And this is actually the basic uh, version, which is called a Cotat. It's a light, compact, simple structure that you can, you can ride it the way it is or be an animal drive system. We have conversion kits for this. You can convert it to electric and bring some more joy to this. So we have a ready platform to start our uh, enclosure idea based on that. We don't want to, uh, we want to actually uh, basically split this project to two steps. One is creating a platform, what sort of chassis design this vehicle has. The second part is how to enclose it. Some of the key features of this product that I'm going to take it as a basis of this development is that you can have this product, this, this particular brand, uh, like this particular product model, you can have this product shipped unassembled in a bicycle box, in a small bicycle box, and be assembled at the uh, customer's end. So we have it framed, we have a complete tricycle with can be also powered uh, like electric, uh, equipped with electric system in a smaller bicycle box. So the hypothesis is, is it possible that we can have an enclosure with the same uh, features that is light, rattle free, compact, transportable, being folded down to a bicycle box so that we can transport or ship this product in two little bicycle box. It's doable. That's what we want to understand. That's what we want to get to that point by through this R&D development. And uh, we are going to try different technological development for like construction material, anywhere from carbon fiber to fabric to wood, metal, and a combination of all those materials to see if we can find a way of developing a canopy or cabin or weather protection body for this uh, framework uh, with all mentioned features. So there are some design constraints that we should face in design in, in this development that uh, we have identified so far so we can share and see if uh, uh, this can be added by more. One being that you need to be able to get on and off easily. Normally, a vehicle like this, people step in the front of the front axle and sit and, and uh, uh, get off uh, in the reverse direction. You sit here, you pedal here. So one other um, constraint would be the moving part, the, the sweeping area that your your body and the moving parts are sweeping. So there should be some step here. There should be your knees going up and down here. You have like your elbows, your head, and all of them should be in, in, it should be contained with a container, which has uh, 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 the minimal effect or impact on your body motion. It should give you the freedom and safety uh, when it comes to any sort of accident or crash. So besides getting on and off that requires this design uh, giving us an access for that because it's an enclosed area how to get in, get in and out is a, a problem, it's a challenge. Are we going to make it 
like removable? Should it go up and down? Should it open from side? Should it open from the front? So this is this is a part of this design. The other factor is visibility. So you can you can have any sort of enclosure you want, but you need to have a good degree of visibility for your front and your surrounding because it's a vehicle and you need to see all your surrounding, even considering the mirrors and uh, uh, this is also a key factor in designing this. And last part, the whole thing, as I mentioned before, requires to be foldable or somehow squeezable. Somehow it needs the whole frame that I believe from here to here should be at least some, some two and a two, two meter construction should be able to be folded and packed in a box for transportation. Well, uh, that was the first uh, video blog that I uh, tried to share some of the thoughts behind this R&D project in uh, Android Drive Systems. I hope I have been uh, clear enough and understandable uh, to this uh, process. Uh, please uh, comment and uh, write and share your thoughts or ideas or projects that you have done, uh, a similar project or similar idea development that you have done uh, on this, or if you want to add or correct uh, things that I've shared with you, uh, this will definitely help us uh, in our process and uh, no one knows, maybe you can partner with us or you can join our team for um, the continuation of uh, this to getting to a mature and uh, workable product uh, rolling for years for people out there. Thank you for watching.